Hello friends. In the video, while we were uh, understanding the functions, we had taken this example, right? Uh, and we are uh, trying to call a cake baker and giving the uh, order, right? So in this case, uh, we had discussed about arguments and parameters, right? So say suppose now um, it is a usual tendency that I was giving him uh, the number of pieces, flavor, and what is the weight. Okay. Next time, if I add one more parameter or argument as toppings, say I will add some toppings. Right. So, in this case, when I add topping, will the function accept it or it throws an error? It is going to certainly throw error because see, it says that cake baker uh, takes three positional arguments, but four were given, right? This is the error that is going to give. So how do we handle such kind of errors, right? So uh, in order to uh, go as a solution to that, uh, I will be introducing you to the concept of arcs and quarks, ARGS and quarks, right? So let's try. Uh, with an example to understand how I should be able to avoid such kind of an error that I am getting. Right. So, let me define a function. Let me define a function where I will add numbers. Right. Within brackets, I usually say I have to pass like this. These are the parameters that I am passing. So, instead of that what I will do is because it keeps if it is keeps on changing. So in order to avoid that, so I will add arcs. I will add it as arcs, right? Since this is a function, I have to put a colon. Then I will say sum is equal to zero. Then I will use for loop for i in arcs I will say sum is equal to sum plus i right or I can write it as sum plus equal to this operator we have seen in the previous videos right then what should I written I have to written sum okay so this was a function that I have defined now I will add the main program main program okay so what do i do i will say uh, i have to initiate now right add 1 comma 2 right so in order to directly print i can use directly the function like it is again a uh, type casting I, similar to that i can do right print add 1 comma 2 so I got the value as now 3, right. So now I will increment, I mean, I will add numbers here. Though the arguments, number of arguments being passed, right. So in this case, it was generating error. Now by using arcs, I'm able to avoid that error. I give one more number. I go on giving numbers. So irrespective of how many arguments are there, so it is still going to work. Right. So, that is advantage of using arcs. Right. So, in case if you are, is this a keyword, ARGS is a keyword, no. So, you can give any name. Say, I will say bunch. So, whatever I give there, please give the same thing here. Still, it works. Okay. So, what actually arcs or this asterisk mark uh, does is, it is going to uh, pack all those numbers, whatever is being sent in this uh, braces, right? It is going to pack all the arguments in the form of a tuple, right? So, this kind of a arc, arcs, star uh, arcs will be useful. So, in case if I do not know like how many variables will I get uh, while I am passing it onto the function, right? In such cases, it, this will be very, very useful. Right. So, there is another variant of arcs which is called as quarks, K, W, A, R, G, S, right, which we will see in the 
next video. See you in the next video. Thank you.